being true to yourself can be a journey. For many transgender people, that can mean a life-changing medical procedure. As Addie Guajardo reports tonight, for one Coloradan, that journey is long and costly. For two-year-old Elliot, love has no gender, no ground rules. Love is simply love. He makes a splash and gives chase to a world without worries. It's a life Kit Taylor wants for their family. That's me. Kit was assigned female at birth and identifies as transgender and non-binary. For me, it's just I don't feel comfortable um, on either end of the gender spectrum, male or female. Kit's pronouns are they and them. For years, Kit struggled with who they saw in the mirror. I look in the mirror and I don't see something that matches my internal perception of myself. Sort of like dissociation, disconnect. When Elliot was nine months old, Kit began taking hormones. I really wanted to change the shape of my, my face, my voice. A transition nearly complete. It's just this one last piece that I need to to deal with it until I can sort of be myself authentically. The last piece of the puzzle. Top surgery, it's chest masculinization. They basically remove all of the breast tissue and will reshape your chest. An $11,000 surgery not covered by insurance. The language they have was very male specific and they said that you needed um, letters from therapists saying that you identified as male and I wasn't gonna lie. It's why they launched a GoFundMe to cover the cost of the procedure. <laughs> They stop connecting with their bodies. Sable Schultz identifies as transgender and works at the center on Colfax, an LGBTQ community center. She says when transgender people aren't comfortable in their bodies, it can lead to a series of struggles. Experience things like depression. They may experience social disorders around uh, friendship groups. They may experience eating disorders. Anything to have some level of control over their bodies. It hurts me living in this body. Kit suffers from scoliosis, a curvature in the spine, but endures the pain of a binder that flattens their chest. It's like a really tight sports bra. A temporary fix to reflect their inner self. It causes me too much back pain. A pain and perception they hope to relieve through surgery as the fund inches towards their goal. It's gonna make them so much happier in their body. Helping piece together a new sense of comfort. Free from my chains of, of, of femininity, a forced femininity, and, and I just will have regain that control because then I can control what people see. I will definitely be able to be like my most authentic self. A pride as pure as the love that pours out of Elliot. Can we kiss? Can we kiss? Mm. <laughs> you happy little man? I'm man. <laughs> And Kit still has a little bit to go before reaching their goal for surgery. And we have a link to the GoFundMe. Uh, GoFundMe right now for you on the DenverChannel.com.